Hmm, not really sure I'm up for this hero business. Might as well just return home and call it a day. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to be the hero. The real reason I came back here was to get something. So it's this basement that I didn't go down before because I didn't have the lantern. There's a chest down here. And it contains a purple rupee. You've completely forgotten them. What's going on everyone? It's Super Ninja 2000 here for part 5 of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. In the last episode, we got the Sword and Shield, and we got Farron Woods out of Twilight, so... Now we're gonna head back there, and we're gonna make our way to the first dungeon. So I'm sure that'll be fun. So yeah, not as big of a gap between this episode and the last two. Since I'm actually recording this only days after the last one. So, you'll see why I got the 50 rupees when I get to Farron Woods. And yes, I am going on foot because we do not have Epona right now. And we won't until after we complete the first dungeon. So yeah, this is where we ended last episode. So, let's get going. Find that weapon that worked so hard to get. Yeah, I know how to use my sword and shield. And yeah, pressing ZL, that's also a shield button, so when you're locking on, you're also gonna be raising your shield. I shouldn't have dodged that, but I did. <laughs> some grass because why not I'm gonna go talk to this guy huh so it's the Ordonian you seem familiar but then your clothes seemed kind of different so I got thrown off for a second listen things have been a little rough around here lately so you should watch your step okay guy there are so many monsters now I got kind of scared and closed off the path to the temple but you guy you want to get back there, huh? You sure do look geared up for it. So here you go. And then he will give you the gate key to access the deep woods again. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there, so bring all the oil you can. And check this out, I have a special one-time offer of a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. That's why I got the purple rupee. So I could get the second bottle. You can put all kinds of stuff in the bottle once you've used the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep on using that lantern so you'll come back and buy more oil, okay, guy? There's also a shop in the deep woods where you can get lantern oil as well. So, keep that in mind when you're going there. But I do recommend getting the second bottle because, yeah, you'll need it. Especially for playing in hero mode like I am where you don't get recovery hearts. Yeah, this is episode 5 and I haven't even died once yet. I probably shouldn't jinx it. Ooh, got two rats with that one sword swing. Nice. Alright, so now we're back here in Farron Woods, the part that's fogged up. So take your lantern out, and then you will get this cutscene.
Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot! While you were staring off at the dreamland, your lantern got stolen! So you want to follow this monkey. Because this monkey is going to get you through the fog. And there are enemies in here, so watch out for them. here because I can't really think of anything to say while doing this. Get out of here, keys. And yeah, as you saw there, when an enemy gets near the monkey, it'll freak out. Until you defeat the enemy. It's okay, it's just a keys. I think there's a Deku Baba ahead, so I'm gonna draw my sword. Yep, right there. I got it. Still behind you, monkey. And please be sure not to hit me in the head with that lantern as you swing it around like that. Which I'm pretty sure it did a few times. Okay, come on, pick up the lantern. Okay, you can't lock onto it. Well, pick it up at the same time. It ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. Why am I not surprised? That's another reason why I got this bottle. I hear enemies, so I'm drawing my sword. match for me. See, I'm stopping at the shop to see if I can afford this. No, it's 30 rupees. I can't afford it. Yeah, and he'll attack you if you steal anything, so don't be a thief. I didn't steal anything, I swear. That's the golden wolf, if you're wondering. And that's the hero's shade. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. You must use your courage to seek power. Find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets I hold. So this is your first hidden skill, which is called the Ending Blow. Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again when, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, ZL target and press A to leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see finish A appear vividly before your eyes. Now try it on me. It'll appear at the bottom of the screen. Hmm, 
That was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. The first hidden skill of the ending blow has been passed on. There's a total of seven of these. There are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Those are only for the one who carries the blood of a hero. The one whose spirit is that of a sublime beast. Grow powerful, test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statues that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. So yeah, we'll be encountering those howling stones along our adventure. So that's how we're going to get hidden skills. And I'm going to set my lantern to Y. So my recording timer is showing 11 minutes, so I'm going to start some of the second dungeon. And how did I get hit right there? I don't even know. He wasn't even facing me. Well, now I got enough rupees, so I might as well go get a red potion. Since I can afford it now. I mean, I have a half bottle of milk, but I would like some more healing. And make sure you pay your rupees. Excuse me. So again, the gamepad, that's why I was kind of running awkwardly. The main reason I'm using the gamepad is so I can tap and slide items to assign buttons. So I'm going to start the first dungeon. Since I am, am trying to make longer episodes of this. <coughs> One moment. Had to cough. Alright, so... Going in here. Welcome to dungeon number one. The forest temple. This dungeon is one floor, believe it or not. And we're going to probably go up until the mini-boss in this episode. And this is on hero mode too, so we've got even more fun. There's a yellow rupee up here. That's why I went up here. Just to get some money. I'm gonna put my lantern away. That's the monkey that stole my lantern. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? So I'm probably only going to use my healing potion when I get down to like half a heart. Maybe even one heart if I know how much damage the enemy does. Because since I'm playing hero mode, damage is doubled. So that was a Skultula. The thing I just defeated, that was a Skultula. And I forget what this thing is called, but I think it's called a Bombling or something, because the 
bomb chews in this game are called bomblings. It's basically this game's version of bomb chews. We'll get them later. Maybe. So I got 20 rupees from doing that, so now you want to light these torches here. And there's a chest over here to the left, which you can open if you want to, or it's to the right if you're playing on normal mode or the GameCube version. And it contains the dungeon map. So it shows the layout of the whole dungeon, including rooms you haven't visited yet. Spoiler, that guy's the mini-boss. Wow, you are one rude monkey. <clears throat> oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, now we can't go any farther. I might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. <laughs> yep, we gotta go this way. You gotta press A at the right time there. It does require timing, I will say that. Get away from this before it explodes. Phew, out at last. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I am still trying to get over this cough, so that's why I meet my mic every now and again. One moment. So this is Uku. You can use this to warp out of a dungeon. Okay, you can be stylish with your sword sheathing. I'm going this way on purpose, because there's a key down here that you need to get. Seems like a key wants to get hit by my sword. So yeah, this chest is the one you want. This is the one that contains the key. Now, why do we need this key, you might ask? Well, we're going to free another monkey. Yes, there's more than one monkey. There's way more than one monkey. Spider didn't take a swimming lesson, so he drowned. Boom. So yeah, there's the second monkey. But you might be wondering, how are we going to free this thing? Well, you will find out in just a second. And then when you cross this bridge... Collapses. And there's a chest hidden down here, which contains a yellow rupee. 
So what you do to free this monkey, just roll or... Yeah, the monkey shows you what to do. I meant to roll there. Yep, do that. Do what the monkey did. And then two blue Bokoblins come in. Looks like there's going to be some fighting here. Pfft, took him down, just like that. Alright, let's continue. One moment. Alright. Once again, you gotta time your A button presses fairly well. So before I move on, I'm gonna get one more chest. Which is in here. So this is a stamp. And stamps are only in the Wii U version of the game, which is what I'm playing. I think in the Wii and GameCube version, it's a yellow rupee, because I haven't played the Wii version of this for a while. And stamps were something you could put on Miiverse, but Miiverse ended over a year ago, because I'm recording this in April of 2019. Now we're going to check out the east side of the dungeon, or the west side if you're playing on normal mode or the GameCube version. So that enemy I just defeated, that's called a Baba Serpent. Fairly tricky enemy as it is. And this here is a Deku-like, which we cannot defeat with our sword. But don't jump over it either, because if you jump over it, it'll eat you. And I think it does like one heart of damage on hero mode. So what you need to do is toss one of those bomb things into it. When all else fails, use explosives. Feel free to quote me on that. There is another monkey in here. This is our third monkey, which we gotta work our way across the room to get to. And there's an enemy in here. That's a tile worm. If you step on it, it'll fling you up into the air, and I think you take about one heart of damage on hero mode. So that's half a heart on normal mode. So I'm getting this chest here, because it contains a key. So watch out for the tile worms. Taking it slow here. So what you want to do is you want to light the torches. I'm going up here to get some more rupees. Or I meant to say I'm going up here to fall. Twice. I swear I'm not trying to do that. What if I tried moving? Would that work? There we go. Let's 
forgot what was up with that me falling. Okay. Now let's just light this torch here. And now we have a clear path to the monkey. Okay, I'm backing up to see where the tile worms are. Because one right there. Okay, and there's a piece of heart down there which I'm going to come back for because there's nothing we can do about it right now. And yeah, there's a skull two that will drop down once you approach here. Just do what I did to defeat it. Sword sheath is optional. Alright, we have one more monkey to free before the mini boss. Drop the tall worms. So let's go after our fourth monkey. So yeah, that was the Deku-like, and there's a piece of heart down there. Which I guess I'll get that later. Hopefully the Deku like doesn't respawn. I'll, I'll just toss another one down after I get back to see if it did. So that's our last monkey that we're going to get in this episode. But we've got to defeat this thing. So the way to do it... Let it come for you, then, yeah, let it come for you, then attack it. If there's one way to do it, but we're not done yet. We still have to get rid of that thing. That's where the explosives come in. Pick it up. Now just sit back and watch the fireworks. Okay, the monkey's doing some backflips. And there's our key. So, you know what to do. Alright, so now we're going to make our way to the mini boss. Like I said, there's a piece of heart in here, so I'm going to toss this bombling down to see if the Deku-like respond. Doesn't look like it did. Nope. Alright, then let's go claim our piece of heart. Number 2 of 45. So here we go, to the mini-boss. I really hope I don't screw this up. Getting to the mini-boss, I mean. Huh. 
first try. All right, let's do this. Mini boss time. Remember me? Oh, you dropped two Baba Serpents. I'm so terrified. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Ooh, I bet that hurt. Alright, do your thing. Wow, you have terrible balance. Kicked his butt, literally. And I didn't even take damage. So my death count remains at zero, for now. So this is the dungeon item, the Gale Boomerang. Basically this game is Boomerang, except it has wind powers. I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. So we'll continue on in this dungeon in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you really like my content, you can subscribe. Hit the bell to stay updated for new videos. Check out my channel discussion if you want to see what's going on. And I'll see you guys next time.